everyone, this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. I just got my Misfits box. And if you watched my last Misfits unboxing, you know that that order was 100% customized, where I got to pick everything in the box. And this is the same again, 100% customized. But this time, there's also supposed to be meat in here. I'm kind of excited and a little bit scared because I don't know what this is gonna turn out to be because if you remember with Imperfect Foods, we've tried getting meat and poultry from them and it hasn't gone so well, unfortunately. But maybe Misfits will actually work with this. Let's get the box open and find out what's inside. I do wanna point out that the box is actually split open. I don't know if you can see that, but the box is split open here. So we were still gonna unbox it, find out what's inside. I don't know why they do this. I know some of you have made comments about the same thing. I mean, I get that cold air drops and hot air rises, I totally get that. But when you put a heavy ice pack on top of something like, let's say, cookies, that happens. <laughs> so, Misfits, it would be helpful if you came up with another system for the ice packs. What we do, we have some of these Partake cookies, which we've gotten before and we actually really like. This time we have carrot cake and ginger snap. And the reason we like these is because they're allergen free, the top eight allergen free. And that includes nuts, eggs, wheat, dairy, soy, fish, shellfish. You don't want that stuff in your cookies, do you? Mustard, sesame, and sulfites. And the ingredients are pretty clean. And we've gone through the ingredients before. I don't think you need me to do that again. But there are other unboxing videos in the description down below that you can click through. There's a whole playlist of these unboxings. And when I first started getting these cookies, I did go through every ingredient in here. But if you guys want me to go through that, leave me a comment and let me know. And also, if you haven't tried Misfits yet and want to give them a try, there's a link in the description down below where you can save some money. So if you click through that link, you'll get, I think it's $10 off your first order. And then we have, this is a big artichoke. Stay with me till the end because I'm going to go over my receipt with you and explain how much everything cost and we'll double check to make sure we got everything we ordered. And then we have some spring mix. And this is Element Farms. To me, this is local because Element Farms is in Lafayette, New Jersey. It's actually up Route 23, probably about 40 minutes from me. And this is freshest until April 26th. Today is... Why can't I ever remember what day it is? Today is April 19th. So this has seven days left on it, freshest until... But in my experience, they're usually good after that date too. We've got these mini sweet peppers. I love these. And I use these when I, I do a fajita style chicken and I don't actually make fajitas. I keep the chicken whole. And if you've ever been to Chili's, they have like a margarita chicken. It's similar to that, but I, I do use the peppers and the onions and I make it myself with all organic ingredients. So it's not exactly like Chili's, but it's sort of like that. And at least that's my thought when I, made this recipe for fajita chicken minus the fajita part. And then we have some corn. These are two ears of sweet corn. And again, everything in here is 100% organic, which also means non-GMO. And when it comes to corn, you gotta be really careful with that because a lot of the corn in the US is GMO and we just wanna avoid that. We got some rosemary and some dill. I'll use the dill with salmon and I'll use the rosemary with pork and chicken, sometimes beef. We got some spinach and this looks pretty good. It's, it's small, a small bunch of organic spinach and it does need some washing, it's a little gritty. Spinach is grown typically in like a sandy soil. It usually needs a washing. So before I use this, I will wash it. I'll actually wash everything. I think you know that. And then we've got some eggplant and I've been 
really loving their eggplant. I make eggplant parm with this and I'll make a big batch of it and we'll save it so that it, I'll get at least two nights of dinner out of it. Some romaine and this is really small. These romaines are really small. For a while we were getting those giant romaines. Do you remember? These are pretty small, but they look very fresh and very nice. And we'll be able to have some Caesar salad. And I make my own Caesar salad dressing using Primal Kitchen or Chosen Foods mayonnaise, garlic, Worcestershire sauce, and black pepper and lemon juice. And that's how I make my Caesar dressing and I make my own croutons. I use the bread that we didn't get any this time, but I have all that bread back here in the messy pantry that we usually get from Misfits and Imperfect. I make my own croutons and then I make my own dressing and that's how I make my Caesar salad. In case you were interested, we have some avocados and one avocado so far and one russet potato. And I use the russet potatoes for baked potatoes or I do make my own french fries and I don't air fry them. I do actually fry them. I use coconut oil, avocado oil, and a little bit of expeller pressed canola oil. And I kind of make my own mix of oil, but I do fry my french fries and we don't eat them often. Usually like every other week we'll do that. And the avocado. And I'm gonna put the avocado on the windowsill so it can ripen up because it's a little hard. And then we've got some rainbow carrots that don't look so hot. I mean, they're really not the greatest and they're just tossed in here. I imagine somebody in the warehouse is going and <laughs> throwing them in there. I don't know if that's how it works. I actually am curious. I'd love to see the warehouse to see how this actually works. But these do also need a very good washing. Some of them are very thick and some of them are very skinny but some rainbow carrots and then we have some celery oh no we have another one with a broken celery this is not what is that no idea what that is this is not the best celery i've ever seen but it's also not the worst i mean most of this is okay there's just that one broken piece right there and most of that is from the way that they package this. They could solve a lot of problems if they just improved their packaging. What is this? It's in a box. Oh, plums. Some nice plums. These are black plums. And I think we've got two bunches of these. We'll see what this is. Yep, this is the other set of the plums and these are really nice. I'm so happy to have some plums. It's been a while. Since we've had plums, another russet potato. So, so far two russets. And last time, if you remember, we only got one and that was kind of weird. Not sure what was up with that. And some red potatoes. And this I like when I make potato salad, I make a potato egg salad. So I use red potatoes, I boil them and I add some hard boiled eggs to it with some celery and so the Primal Kitchen or the Chosen Foods mayonnaise. And we've got one lemon and one lime. The lemon's a little discolored. Again, that's the kind of thing that somebody's doing construction outside. So if you hear that noise, I apologize. That's the kind of thing you'll get with Misfits is sometimes something will be misshapen or a little off color. The lime looks great. And some more of these cookies. These are the chocolate chip. A very beat up muesli. And we've gotten this before. This is a pound or two pounds of muesli. And I forget what the exact price was. But again, stay with me till the end because I'm going to go over the receipt. I think I bought it because it's like super cheap. And I love muesli. And the one I got last time, I guess it was like a month ago or maybe even longer. It's finally gone. I got some gluten-free linguine. This is Ancient Harvest linguine. And I don't know about you, but it's really hard. It's difficult to find gluten-free linguine. You can get spaghetti, you can get penne, uh, spirals, but it's really difficult to find linguine. And I like linguine. Let's see, what are the ingredients in this? 
organic corn flour, which is good. We want anything corn to be organic or at the very least non-GMO. Organic brown rice flour and organic quinoa flour. And this actually has protein in it. So four grams of protein. And a lot of that probably comes from the quinoa flour. No added sugars, three grams of fiber, no saturated fat or trans fat. So this is pretty good. Another avocado. And we've got some yellow potatoes. This one looks pretty good. That's like a normal looking potato. And then we have this one. It's like a bunny rabbit or a heart. <laughs> and then we've got a little one. We've got some more limes here. A white onion, which is nice. I haven't had white onions in a while. Got another little box of something. Oh, tomatoes. Ew, that tomato does not look good. This one looks fine, but that one does not look good. Let's see. Oh, more plums. I guess I did order a lot of plums. More plums. That tomato does not look good at all, guys. This is like, ugh. I mean, I think if I cut the top off and slice it up, I can use it like today, but I don't think it would last longer than that. Another lemon, a random carrot. And this must be the meat. And I wasn't sure how this would work, but it it's in its own bag here with ice packs. That's really good. See, Imperfect Foods doesn't do that. They just put it in this like, mylar contraption but then they don't put any ice packs in there with it which you know that doesn't make any sense i feel like they're asking for trouble with that so we got grass-fed ribeye steak and a grass-fed strip steak and i've got two each of these i'm really curious now, in order to get the meat, and they have meat, they have chicken, they have seafood. They also have, I think it was Impossible, the Impossible meat, the plant-based meat. I don't recommend that. Here's why. It's very processed. I know that if you're vegan or vegetarian, you know, you, you sometimes want an option. Or if you're a meat eater, you sometimes want a meatless day. And you feel like that that would be a good alternative. I don't recommend it because it's very processed and it has a lot of stuff in it. So while I've tried it in the past, like a year or two ago, I have tried it and I actually liked it. I try to stay away from it. Stick with the whole food. You're much better off that way. So these are Meadow Reserve. They're still frozen, which is great. This is 100% grass fed no hormones, no, antibi no antibiotics, pasture raised, simple diet of pasture grass and natural forages. This is a 10 ounce strip steak. And we've got two of those. And that's the back in case you're curious. And then we've got two 10 ounce ribeye rib steaks. These look very nice. They're very marbled. And you do have to meet a minimum to get the meat. So you have to buy what they're calling a pack. And I'll go over right now, I'll go over the receipt with you so that you can understand a little bit better how that works. Of course, somebody's hammering as soon as we're gonna look at the receipt. Of course they are. Because isn't that what happens when you pull up a receipt? We ordered the rainbow carrots, which were loose, four. It says four count, but we got more than that. And that's probably because some of them are really small. Uh, the organic flat leaf spinach was $1.79, and I'm sorry, the, the carrots were $1.55. The tomatoes were $0.99 cents for one to two, and I guess we got one very small one, which 
is actually in great shape and one not so great big one. The russet potatoes, it was a two to three count for 79 cents. And we got we get two, I think we got two. The yellow potatoes, it says two to three count. We did get three for 59 cents. The organic romaine lettuce, two for two ninety eight. The limes, it was three to five for one one dollar fifty five cents, and I think we got not four, so that's good. Lemons, two to three, and we got. Did we get two or three? I think we got two, maybe three for ninety nine cents. The celery was ninety nine cents. The organic eggplant, two for three ninety eight. Ginger snap cookies were three ninety nine. The carrot cake cookies were three ninety nine. The pasta was two for five dollars and thirty eight cents. That's a little on the high side, I think, but it was. It's hard to find that linguine. The chocolate chip cookies were three ninety nine. The sweet corn was two for a dollar ninety nine. The spring mix was two ninety nine. The ribeye, the two ribeye steaks that. The two 10 ounce ribeye steaks were $17.98. That's a pretty good price for grass fed beef. The strip steak, the same exact price, 10 ounce strip steaks, 100% grass fed. The onions, I was supposed to get one to two. I got one for 69 cents. The rosemary was $1.79. The dill was $1.79. The two avocados were $1.99. The organic artichoke was one for two forty nine. I feel like that might be on the high side, but this is a pretty large artichoke. The red potatoes were two to four, and we got two very large ones for eighty nine cents. That's a pretty good deal. The sweet pepper medley was three fifty nine. I think that's a pretty good deal. And the plums we got nine plums for five dollars and ninety seven cents. My total was ninety seven sixty eight. And then I had a $30 credit, thanks to some of you using my code. And if you guys are interested in trying out Misfits, there's a link in the description down below where you can click through that and save some money. And it also helps me out because I get a little something too. So I had $30 in credits from all of you using my code. So my total for all of this was $72.18 with the meats. And I'm going to show you what it looks like so that you can see. So these are the plums we got a lot of plums those are the two tomatoes we got where one is good and one is not so good and then under them we have the spring mix and then we have our meats here our avocado over here our muesli our cookies and our linguine and then we have all of our vegetables and all of that in the sink So what do you guys think? What do you think of this value? I am going to try these steaks. I'm gonna to try to do that before this video goes live so that you can see what I think of them because I am very particular about my meat. Um, as you know, I order pork and chicken and fish from the butcher box, but I decided that I don't like the flavor of their beef. So I get my beef from Seven Sons and I have a video coming out on that very soon because we just placed an order for some things. But what do you guys think of this? Let me know, leave me a comment down below. Anyway, that's all for now. Thank you for watching. I will see you real soon. Bye.